Good morning, everyone. Hello. So, first some logistics. Uh, because we put the screens up the way they are, don't use these doors on this side. There's a set down there and come in here. So just plan on coming in and out that way. Uh, no, to try to start right on time to get you incented to come back on time in between our breaks. So we have breaks in the morning, breaks in the afternoon, breaks for lunch. Uh, when you come back for break, we'll have giveaways. So if you're, we, we enjoy having, uh, not having people show up. So when they win, they don't get their stuff. So if, you, if your name is called and you're not here, everyone will tease you the rest of the conference. You could have had, but no, no, you didn't. Um, okay. We're also encouraging our speakers to not stand in the That's me. Yes, thank you. See, I was doing it on purpose just so I could, I could see. You, I'm getting light on my face. And if you have light on your face, you're in the wrong place. So you want to be over on this side. There's actually an X if you're a presenter. Stand on the X. Um, if you're not here, you're not in focus. No, Ben will take good care of us. So, welcome to the conference. Uh, we try to get screens so everyone can see. M most of the seats, depending on where someone moves, don't have the pillar, but you always have a screen that you can see. Uh, for presenters, we have a confidence monitor here. It does not show you show notes. So if you're a wimpy presenter and you have to see your notes, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> practice more. Okay. Yeah, terrible. Um, we've had a couple of these conferences. We started back in 2014 and had one in Austin, in Austin and then in Maastricht. And the whole start of this idea was I had attended a, a little conference called Tech Field Day, and they're fantastic, and I loved it. And I loved the experience of being a delegate. And if you're not a delegate for Tech Field Day, they're always looking for more. So yeah, look, look into that. Uh, techfieldday.com and you can enjoy it. The problem with Tech Field Day was there's 12 delegates and then you go into a little room and vendors present to you for two hours and you get to see really, really cool tech and talk to the, the man in the company and learn all about it. It's a fantastic experience. Problem is only 12 people at a time get it. And in th that scenario, the vendors rule because they paid to have you there. This conference is kind of the antithesis of a tech field day. We wanted the experience to be about the delegates, not about the vendors. So we don't have any vendor booths. We don't have any vendor anything. So, well, at night, we're going to have some vendor things. So anyway, this is our 2022. We're here, we had one in Phoenix, one in Prague. Notice 2020 and 2021 are kind of missing because of that COVID thing. Uh, who knows? Uh, luckily, our 2020 in Phoenix like it was like three weeks before the really bad COVID hit. So we just snuck by. We do have one in Spanish in Mexico. Uh, for now, what's the date? November 8 and 9. November 8 and 9. Um, so for now, doing that one. I'm not even going to be there because I don't speak Spanish. And so, <laughs> hey, I went to the, I went to the Bogota one in Colombia and ran the camera because I didn't know what they were saying. So. <laughs> Uh, this conference is all about you. It's about the people. That's why we, we hold it. So you can have a chance to come together and hang out with your peeps. Hey, hi, Phil. Glad you made it. Like directly from the airport? Ish. Good. Um, so it's about you. It's all about meeting people, seeing your friends and colleagues. Uh, how many of you, this is your first ever WLPC? Oh, great. <laughs> Okay, don't, don't, none of this hand stuff, stand up. If you're a first person, it's the first conference, stand up. Now, if you see someone around you who's standing, invite them into your circle. So thanks, go ahead and sit down. So those who are standing, first time, glad you're here. We like having you. Um, you might notice some, there might be like, there's a group of people talking and you feel like you're not invited. You are invited. Just step right in. If you're in, standing in a group of people, and that happens all for the next three days, 
try to leave an opening so that you don't close yourself off so that someone can come in. Think of your, like a, a free electron on a carbon atom. You wanna let more people come in. So again, all about you. Thanks, this conference, all I do is kind of orchestrate it. All the work goes to Fernay and Sam and Tani and Matthew and Ben Freeman doing all our, hey, hey Ben for doing the videos for us. It's, it's just people doing good stuff that they wanna hang out and be together. So a couple numbers from this one. We had four boot camp sessions. Well, three real boot camps and one one-on-one -on -one session. Hey, Martin and you, you, you pulled it off. You sat in and had a one-on-one -on -one boot camp. That's, I, I don't think I could do that. This feel really intimate. But um, <laughs> we have five do, bo, uh, deep dives. 20% of the attendees attended a boot camp. And the one I'm proud of is 20% of you in this room are gonna stand up here and present. It's about you presenting. We, we don't like hire ringers to come in here. In fact, I'll stop for a second and tell you how you get up here. You, when we send out a call for presentations, call for topics, you present a topic that you'd like to hear, that you'd like to do. And then we put them into a survey. We send out the survey. This last one for here had 550 votes saying, I'd really like to hear this and this. And then we rank them by who got the most votes. And whoever gets the most votes gets the most time. It's that simple. Uh, more than half, yeah, way more than half of the sessions, the ideas that were floated didn't make it past the cutoff. 20% of you are going to present. It could have been 40. We just don't have enough time to pull that off. So put forth your idea. Uh, at the end here, I'm going to show you a slide that has the WPC Phoenix call for papers is out right now. If you'd like to get in, put it in. They get voted on. Whoever wins the votes gets to talk. So our conference goes something like this. We had three days of boot camps, and today uh, I'm doing the welcome. This is the welcome talk. Hi. Welcome. Um, and then we have, Peter's gonna talk for an hour. Peter's already mic'd up. Nadim, where's Nadim? While Peter's talking, or you can do it while I'm talking, I don't care, come back to Ben, or Frenet's right here, and he'll get you mic'd up. So if you're next on the list, come get there. Karen, you can come during the break and get mic'd up. <laughs> And then we're gonna do 10 talks. 10 talks were an idea we came up with a couple years ago when we wanted more people to talk, but we didn't have more time. We tried doing multiple tracks. So there's three rooms and people would move between and there'd be tracks so we could get more speeches. And it was kind of a nightmare. Not to mention somebody would be like, I got all the people and you didn't get anyone. And then people felt bad, you know, and they cried. <laughs> and, and I didn't like that. So, so instead, what we did is we said, we have a 10 talk. Now, the idea of a 10 talk is you have 10 minutes to talk, and I'll be sitting up here, and I have a timer. And when it goes yellow, it means you have like a minute left. When it goes red, stop talking. If you go over that and it starts flashing, I'm just going to tell you to stop talking. Maybe we'll have Ben just cut the mic off. You have 10 minutes. That's it. If you're preparing a 10 talk, you should prepare 30 minutes of 10 talk and throw the bad 20 minutes away. <laughs> It's pretty simple, because we don't care who you are. Oh, I went to school here, I did this, and now I'm here, and my children were this big, and then the, my history of my whole life. No, just start in the technology. We don't, okay, one, a lot of people would like, if you, if you go to some classes that teach you how to present, they say stuff like, well, you should uh, do a credibility set. Tell them why they should be listening to you. I don't care. You have 10 minutes. If in that 10 minutes I see that you're really good and you present, great. We will give you kudos and say thank you. If during the 10 minutes you suck, it's only 10 minutes, guys. I'm gonna kick them off the stage. So if they're not good, they're gone. <laughs> Either way. So don't waste your 10 minutes talking about things that don't matter or saying, we have a solution for BYOD. Let me explain what BYOD means. And then you spend half your talk setting the stage for the problem. Trust me, we all know what BYUD is. We know what all the problems are. If you have a solution, jump right to the solution. So we uh, break for lunch upstairs. Uh, remember, leave those exits down there. 
Uh, Jared Griffiths right after lunch. So Jared, come to Ben at the end of lunch and you can get mic'd up. Uh, Jim will get mic'd up while that's happening. And then Jerry's at the end right before the breaks. So this is just today. I'm going to skip forward. You can look at your own sessions. In the afternoon, we have deep dives. Again, this is kind of a little different of conference. Um, and we asked the audience what they want. And one of the things we tried was a little hands-on thing. Anybody who was in Budapest? That hands-on was terrible. <laughs> we had a headless computer we all built. And you couldn't even tell if it was working. You know, you had to like walk around the room and plug it in. And then hope we had like one screen. You, oh, oh, mine works. And the other guy. But the idea was we kind of liked building stuff and making things and doing things. And so the, the deep dives that went from just a little two hour thing to a four hour to two days. And so now we have uh, basically a one day class split over two afternoons. And so your deep dives is when we're going to break up. There is, you have a bag of stuff in the deep dives. We used to give you stuff when you came to the conference. Now it's only when you go to the deep dives. Uh, so this afternoon, we'll split up and do the deep dives. You go places. And then in the evening is the time where we let vendors loose. Uh, it's your choice, though. You pay to come to the conference. We give you the conference. At night, you can go do anything you want. But the vendors will try to tease you and tempt you to come to their sessions. They give you stuff. They feed you. They give you beer, that kind of stuff. So NetAlla has one in here, in those two Zurich rooms first. Then Eka House, it will be up, take the little funicular railway up to the top. They'll be up in Brussels 1 and 4. And then the extreme will be back down here. You can go to one, none, all of them, however you like. Uh, we've seen most people just come and hang out. And they like being together, so they stay together all night. So we're there. Uh, on Thursday night, we're trying a new thing. Uh, for those of you who are involved in EduRoam, we have a birds of a feather session so you can get together and just talk. If these work, we might hold them in the future. That's basically how everything in the conference happens. Somebody has an idea, we try it. OK, let's hold more of it. In Phoenix, we hold a yoga session. Nobody wanted to hold yoga here. I don't. <laughs> but we did have the guys go running. And then Thursday night, we also have a team Lego building contest. We have two really big kits. So pull together your team. We're going to have two teams. But it's going to take a lot of organization to see who can build the fastest. And then whichever team wins gets to keep the kits. So we figure that out. Um, we have one hour sessions, but they're not an hour, they're only 55 minutes. And Peter's got the first one today. Jim Hunt's one this afternoon. UC's tomorrow. And David Coleman's on Thursday. I'm sorry, on Friday. We have 30 minute sessions. These are ones who got almost the best votes. And we have those all scheduled out, their 30s. And then we have a bunch of 10 talks. If you're a 10 talk, remember to go get mic'd up early in the list. And unlike some conferences, we might do seven 10 talks in an hour, because if you don't use your time, that's OK. And the schedule is fluid. If you're on schedule for Thursday at 9 in the morning, it could be Wednesday at 4 in the afternoon. I don't know. Be ready. Just these guys kind of float around. So uh, deep dives are this afternoon. You have on your little list, your thing here, it tells you what deep dive you're in. You cannot change. This is not a, oh, I came to the conference and now I want to change. No, it doesn't work that way. We have stuff for you. We have a very limited supply of each of them. So if you're in Jim Palmer's class, you go up the funicular that's around the corner up there to Brussels 1 and 2. UCs is in Cairo 1. It's by the lobby. You go to the that side of the lobby, then up some stairs. Phil Morgan's is in Madrid. You go to that side of the lobby. You go in the entrance. There's this green wall, and you think you're going to the bathroom. But it's actually the Madrid place back there, and Phil's going to be in there. Peter McKenzie's is by UCs Hall up the stairs. And the WN Deep Dive, WN Pi Deep Dive is all the way up to the funicular. There, the funicular can only hold like max maybe 10 people at a time, or with us and our backpacks, maybe four. <laughs> um, so we have a 15 minute break in between. So if you're on the upstairs ones, try to catch the funicular a little early to get up there. So if you need to present, I already told you, don't waste anybody's time. We try to get as many people through. It's all about the technology, jump straight into it. 
if you're Peter, you can do a magic show because he can do magic. If, if you can't do magic, don't attempt that. If you think you're good at jokes, you might try that and see what happens. It, they might laugh. I don't know. We'll see. You're here. Have fun. Get engaged. Talk to people. You have, you have a room full of people who like doing what you do. That doesn't happen all that often. <laughs> my wife's like, oh, you're going down to play with your geek friends? <laughs> yes, I came down to play with my geek friends. So be engaged. Uh, Phoenix is in February. And in the red line down there, if you have something that you want to submit, you need to submit by the end of this week to get the, the cycle and the timeline processed. It's the WPC.com. WPC PHX 2023, and you go fill out the forms and we'll make it happen. So, welcome to the conference. We'll get started, and first up.